4K collectors, what is going on? It's your boy 4K D Ray. New release time, you guys. We got what is it? Uh, Poacher Geist. We got Lost Boys. Everybody's been waiting on that. So y'all already know what it is, man. It's time to hit Best Buy. Let's go see these things in hand. All right. So every week that we walk in here, we always make sure that the movie section is still here because we keep hearing those horror stories that some people physical media is gone. So I keep my fingers crossed that this one ain't going nowhere. All right, so a title like this is very surprising to see that there's one still book sitting on the shelf. Um, everybody was super hyped about this release. They weren't happy with the artwork, but everybody was ready for this release. So I expect y'all to be talking about it for a while. Let's not just talk about it Tuesday and then come Wednesday, everybody on to next week. All right, so we still got some of the past releases. Warrior, Lightyear, Minions, uh, Doctor Strange been here. Elvis is still here. Child's Place. Surprised to see that still sitting on shelves as well, but there it is. And we got Heat still with the slip on it sitting down at the bottom. And all the rest of the stuff. All right, so here goes the Poacher Guy Switch slip. This is way better artwork than Lost Boys. I can definitely tell you that. No still book though, but plenty of slips still here. Then they got that little warning sticker in the on the end uh if you got epilepsy definitely want to be careful watching this one i got vertigo but not epilepsy but i don't do good with flashing lights either but i've seen this movie plenty of times but i'd prefer if it was part two getting released first and we still got all those nice star trek slip sitting halloween tons of those born collection um you guys it's rafa Khan. i don't know if anybody caught the uh Price mistake the other day, I believe Blu-ray.com reported that it was like $11, $12.99, something like that. So I don't know if anybody actually got it at that price. So if you did, comment below. Also, you guys remember last week when I was here and I said, I can't wait till we get Coraline on 4K. Boy, the timing was super perfect with that because the next day we got the announcement that Coraline and Paranorman 4K still book. So can't wait for that. That should be super cool could have sworn also last week that this was 1999 i do believe i'm glad it still comes with the slip if anybody needs it and here goes that gremlins which i do not own um no slips coming with it but 13.99 is still not a bad price for it even though they say that transfer is trash i can't tell you whether or not because i don't own it it looks like Goonies is $13.99 still coming with the slip cover. So that's a plus if you do not own it. It is a very nice slip though. I didn't know it was as embossed as, as it is. So pretty cool. I know a lot of people would rather have the treasure chest set or whatever, but $13.99 with the slip at this point, it's not a bad pickup. All right, another new release. We got uh, Monty Python's The Meaning of Life 4K. $21.99 is the price. I didn't really see too many people talking about this one saying they want to pick it up i believe maybe ben buster was the only one i heard talking about this one plenty of these dirty dancing slips i swear if they come out with another 4k version of this i might just flip out y'all might hear me curse like crazy or something because it's ridiculous that certain movies can get so many exclusive releases or whatever and we still waiting on tons of other movies to even hit blu-ray oh i swear i need all of these to go down to like $9.99 so I can get them because I still don't own any of them. Uh, the slip at this point, that's going to be non-existent. I know I'll never get those unless, you know, come across them at some point, but I need that price to go down so I can grab them. So one more title that I need to put on my list because I just bypassed it and thought about it the other day. I was like, you know what? I don't have Jungle Book live action movie on 4K. I need to grab that one. So I had to put that on my list. So We'll be probably looking out to try to find that for a very good price. I believe like 24 is the price I'll be seeing. I think Amazon has it for like 15, but I don't know if it's going to come with a slip at this point. All right, so you guys, I don't see too much more. I don't want to keep looking at the same, showing you guys the same stuff we looked at last week. But uh, I don't see the Lost Boys with slip out on the shelf, only the steel book as you saw. But I'm going to head up to customer service, grab my pickup, and then I'll show you guys what I grabbed today plus the mail that I got in. So stay tuned. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here it is. Somebody must have just put it down or something like that because there goes the slip. Still not very great artwork, I got to say. But again, the question comes if you listen to episode one of the last format podcast last week. The question is, are you an art collector or a movie collector? 
that's the question all right you guys so here we go let's finish up this video so first pick up from best buy learn something new today best buy charging for bags now 10 cents a bag that's crazy but uh first pickup is the lost boys 4k chose the slip man that still book cost a little bit more than what i was willing to pay so here it is slip i'm sure you've seen enough videos at this point so there it is brand new seal super excited to have this one reviews are very good for the 4k transfer so can't wait to give that one a watch all right up next you guys i think everything coming up in the mail is all from ebay for a very very good price of course no slip on this one but it's all good price was right y'all thought i was crazy when i bought this one i was on the live stream I, I video i did and i said both smurfs movies look good the movies are crap and i was like you know what i don't have the third i heard it was at dollar trees at one point i'm not sure if that's 100 true but i picked up smurfs uh the lost village i know this transfer has got to look good so that's why i picked it up it was only like uh, i think paid like six dollars through goodwill so not a bad pickup in my opinion um, next pickup this one is Macari, here it is. I know my daughter loves this movie. I like part one a little bit more than two, but two was still good as well. So Sonic 2, I can't remember how much I paid. I think it was like 12 bucks after shipping and taxes. So not bad there. All right, next pickup again. This one is, yeah, Goodwill. Brand new and sealed, Call of the Wild. I think I'm kidding. Not kidding at all, brand new, sealed. I think it was like $7 and some change. I'll try to leave it on the screen, but here goes the uh, Goodwill card that you get hanging off of it like it's Best Buy or something with they pick up stickers. But yeah, I'm definitely happy about that. You can tell it's been sitting for a while. Look at all that dust on the top. Let's see if I can wipe it off, yeah. And last pickup, Goodwill once again. Goodwill is my new friend. Pick this one up because I heard the transfer was really good. I don't think I've seen the movie. I'm sure it's been on in my house, but I never sat and watched it. But I picked up Spies in Disguise, $6 Goodwill. So those are this week's pickups for me, excluding what hasn't come in the mail. I got some more stuff coming from another. I got like three or four more 4Ks coming in the mail. Can't wait for that. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. It's been another great Blues Day Tuesday, 4K Tuesday, whatever you want to call it. I know Nate hates, hates hearing Blues Day, but that's the nickname we gave it. So it is what it is. But nonetheless, man, it's your boy 4K D Ray. I'm signing off. I'm signing out. You guys tune in. Another episode of Last Format Podcast is coming. Let's go.